couple of days ago, this album celebrated its uh, 53rd birth, uh, birthday. Doesn't time fly? Well, I wasn't going to talk about Revolver now. Well, sort of, anyway. Because uh, when we talk about new uh, box sets, we have to talk about the Beatles, of course. First, we have the stereo set from 2012. I made a video about that one, uh, well, back in 2012 probably. And then we have the mono set from 2014. Very, very nice. Both of them, of course. Uh, then we have the Queen Studio Collection box set that I ordered a bit late. <laughs> a bit late because it was sold out when I finally got my <clears throat> thumbs out of a particular uh, yeah, stop. Uh, and decided to order it, but so I thought, well, okay, okay, I was too slow. But a year later, they had printed a second edition. So, to my great surprise, I didn't, I hadn't heard anything about it. So suddenly, I got the box anyway, and it's lovely, the Queen. Okay, and uh, Rolling Stones in mono is one of these sets that I bought on a. Black Friday deal, so I got it quite cheap, and it's also very, very nice. But these are four very famous boxes that I think most of you have already seen, so I'm not going to talk more about them. Another box set that I've already done a video about is the Total Rubbish box from Monty Python, which contains all their uh, albums, apart from the Live at the City Center album. Uh, that was made for the American market. So, uh, one of my favorite singer songwriters, composers, whatever, is Randy Newman. And he issued this box, uh, the Randy Newman uh, songbook, first on CD. I think it was in the early 2000s, 2002, 2003, something. And then uh, it was reissued on as a vinyl box in 2016 on the lovely None Such label. Uh, and he plays his old songs, just him and a piano. So it's re-recordings of the old originals. But I'm very fond of this because most of the time the only thing you need when it comes to Randy Newman is his voice, his songs and his piano playing. Uh, then we have the boxed set of the Celebration Day by Led Zeppelin, recorded at O2 in 2007, but this uh, was an issue from 2012. Three LPs in a very luxurious box and very nicely recorded by this band that people thought would never reform to do anything more together. But they did, and this was the result. And it's great. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite music movies, I've talked about it many times, is Martin Scorsese's The Last Waltz, with the band and all the guest artists. And this is a box that was issued uh, for the 40th anniversary uh, in... Must have been 2016 then. Uh, and it is, apart from the original three uh, records, we have uh, six records in this with lots of extra material. Um, I hope that we, they would have done a bit of better job with the actual sound because I was a bit disappointed. Because I had really expected lots from this box, uh, especially when it comes to the sound quality. But it, I mean, it's fine, it's fine, but it didn't really lift as I hoped it would. I, well, I've been listening to the like DVD versions of it before uh, and so on. But still, an amazing concert and a great box. And if you're a f fan of the band, you should have it really. 
Okay, uh, this is a box that I bought on a sale in Stockholm when I not, haven't lived here that long. The Traveling Wilburys boxed set, which contains uh, their two uh, albums and a record with extra material. Well, for instance, the song Nobody's Child that was on a compilation disc and wasn't released on any of the original Traveling Wilburys uh, LPs. And it's a lovely box with fine texture and great feel feel to it. And uh, as I said, I thought I bought it half price, so I got a real good deal on it as well. I was a great fan of the Traveling Wilburys back in the 80s and early 90s, so I already had them. Well, volume 1 I bought on vinyl back then in 1988, I think. And volume three, that was the year I had turned to CD, so that one I bought on CD. But this is all vinyl, of course. Yeah, made a deal there. Then uh, we have two boxes that I've shown before also. Uh, that weren't deals, they were actually quite expensive. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, uh, Primary Phase and Secondary Phase. The two original radio series from the late 70s, I think early 80s. And those are the ones that I'm really interested in. The, the later recorded uh, radio series has also, I think, been issued in these luxurious packs uh, on vinyl with, uh, I think it's three vinyl records in each, in each uh, box. But uh, it's the original ones with Peter Jones as the book. Those are the ones I really love. Uh, so those are the ones I was willing to pay for it, but they were expensive, but mm, I love them. I am a great fan of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, especially the original radio series. And that's one, that's what we find on these, in these boxes. Okay, <clears throat> another interesting little box, Confessing the Blues. It's a box of uh, one, two, three, five, ten inch albums. This was also issued as a more normal 12 inch vinyl box, I think so anyway. Or maybe it was like two double albums or something like that. And of course on CD. And, uh, well, it is um, uh, uh, yeah, it's like the Rolling Stones uh, have something to do with this. Ronnie Wood has made the uh, hand-painted cover art and uh, the money from this album will be donated to the Willie Dixon's Blues Heaven Foundation so to keep the knowledge about blues alive in the future and it's a it's a lovely and also I, I like that it's presented like an old old time 78 RPM box or, or album rather because that's why they were called albums back in time yes it's I mean I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff Maybe that makes me a bit childish, but I think I think I I am happy that I have this childish streak within me uh, still that I can enjoy this kind of um, care taken when making a, a, an issue of um, or a box or an album or whatever. I like it. Okay, and the final box is Afro Sounds, Africa 50 Years of Music, Deeply Roots and Modern Style. Uh, this is an album with five vinyl records and it is um, it was also issued on CD but with many more, we want much more material like this is uh, chosen material from the big CD box that has also been issued as a vinyl box and I've all, I've, well since since the days of in the 80s when I first heard Graceland, I've been very fond and interested in music from 
from African cultures as well as other cultures as well, but particularly in African music and uh, it's a great experience to listen to this. You learn quite a lot and I think it widens your musical views also quite a lot. Okay, those were some more modern vinyl boxes or boxed sets that I have in my collection. Um, I also have uh, boxed sets with uh, singles, but I've already done a video about that, even though uh, I bought many more since I did that video. Uh, and uh, of course I've got CD boxes as well. The CD boxes can... <laughs> I tell you, I'm, when I buy CDs these days, it is mostly these really big boxes like I bought uh, the the full set of Elvis Presley like for is it 60 CDs in one box and I mean like these these ridiculous boxes or the the collected works of this artist or that artist and and yeah even though in some cases I already have it on on vinyl but that's the beauty or the awfulness of being a record collector. Anyway, I'm waffling. Um, time to say bye. Have a great day. Keep playing those vinyl records.